Hello everyone and welcome to APM Academy. In today's video, we are going to be discussing late fees and how to handle them if they need to be waived. In this case, we see that Bilbo Baggins has his charge for August rent posted. He has not paid and he is now four days late per our late fee policy. We are charging $50 upon the fourth of every month that the tenant does not make their payment. In the event a tenant receipt has improperly applied to a late fee charge, and you are needing to reimburse the tenant back and reverse that, these are the steps that you will follow. First, the tenant letter will read something like this. We'll see our late fee charge. There's a receipt. We still have a $50 balance remaining, but when we click on the late fee charge, we see that it's paid in full. In order to reimburse the tenant and waive this late fee, the steps are going to be as follows. You'll go to the tenant page. You'll click the task, enter credit. You'll enter it for the amount of the late fee, in this case, $50. Credit date will match the date that you're waiving the late fee, 08-06-2024. And then the GL account you're gonna use will be your late fee GL account that was paid in full. You will then scroll down and hit save, save. Now we see our balance is back to zero. And the tenant ledger will look something like this. We'll have our rent charge, our original late fee, our tenant receipt, and then a credit back from our late fee GL account. It's important to note to keep track of these late fees as if they are paid, the system will then in your management fee calculation want to pay those funds out. So it's important to note to keep track of the diagnostics page for these under the positive balance on additional fee GL account. This has been how to waive and remove a late fee charge that was posted in error. Thank you for watching APM Academy brought to you by APM Help. If you have questions on the content, you can find us at apmhelp.com or reach us at info at apmhelp.com. Like, share, and subscribe for more.